What type of prosthetic valve is seen on this test X-ray? It is a cased ball processes with four struts facing downwards and to the apex, suggestive of mitral location. The valve is below the line joining the pulmonary bay and right cardiophrenic angle. Aortic prosthesis is situated above this line. Prominent ascending aorta and aortic knuckle as well as sternotomy suture wires are visible. Right atrium is enlarged with a shadow within shadow indicating coexisting left atrial enlargement. Both these can be a sequelae of previous mitral wall disease. Left atrial appendage is not prominent on the left cardiac border, possibly because it has been removed during a previous closed surgical mitral valvotomy. Significant cardiomegaly with enhanced cardiothoracic ratio is also visible. This in addition to findings of double atrial enlargement could mean either other valve lesions which have progressed later or paraprosthetic mitral regurgitation. Some also develop significant left ventricular dysfunction in the long run if the ventricular myocardium had undergone fibrosis due to long-term load of the previous valve lesion which may not recover fully after surgery. A prominent descending aortic shadow is also seen behind the cardiac load. Aortic dilatation along with cardiomegaly and left atrial enlargement may indicate a pre-existing aortic regurgitation which has now become severe. Atherosclerotic changes in aorta as age advances is also a possibility. Though Star Edwards prosthetic walls have now gone out of production, some remarkable long-term performance has been reported. A patient who was undergoing mitral wall replacement was found to have an aortic Star Edwards prosthetic wall which was implanted 51 years back and still functioning well and left in situ. Though such instances are there, SCP has now been supplanted by lower profile bileaflet walls with better hemodynamic profile, lesser risk of thromboembolic complications and longer durability which only time will tell.